Good morning. Today we're here at Costco. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about. We're going to check on some different shortages that have been around the state of Ohio. We're actually in Florence, Kentucky here though. Check on some of the rice, make sure they're getting in some rice. Check some of the prices of that. Let's get to it. Okay, so as soon as we come into Costco, I wanted to point out they only have three pallets of rice here. Three different kinds. We're going to go over each one. They have other rice options. Usually they have a ton, but this is it. They have the Thai hum Hamali Jasmine rice here, $16.99. That price has not gone up yet. Part of the reason why I wanted to come to the Costco here in Florence, Kentucky, a couple reasons. One, we're familiar with it. It's about 25 miles south of Cincinnati. The, and the one up near Mason, a lot of rice has been getting hit up in Mason. There's been a lot of people uh, panic buying and stuff like that. So figured we would come to this one in hopes that we would find any. We have this Californian Supreme rice here. Now I gotta say, I haven't seen this one here before. It is $32.99 for a 25 pound bag. Let me know down in the comments if you know what this price was before. That's a pretty high price for a 25 pound bag of rice here at Costco, but it's one of the one of three different kinds that they have in the big bags. Here they have the Kirkland Signature Enriched Long Grain Rice. These are the 25 pound bags for $11.49. This is the best deal that I've found, but again, we only have three different pallets here of rice. So I just wanted to point this out, $11.49. We're expecting a lot of this is gonna be going up in price. So if you have a chance, if you find it and you use rice a lot, you may wanna buy a bag. They do have a pallet here left of the cooked sticky white rice, the medium grain rice here. This is 12 bowls. $10.99 for that same price as it was the last time I was here and they also have somebody asked about this one uh, the organic cilantro and lime rice uh, this is nine dollars and ninety nine cents this is six eight point eight ounce pouches so don't think we're gonna have too much of an issue with these kind of things more of the big bags of rice is what everybody seems to be making a run on here's another one someone was asking about the seeds of change the kiwa and brown rice here $12.69. Now this is up a dollar. It's been $12.69 for a little while, but this is what we were talking about. After the, the, the export ban in India, we're expecting even stuff that we get everywhere is going to be going up in price. So I wouldn't be surprised if this went up again. You know, we'll just have to wait and see, but I just wanted to point out the one here in Florence, Kentucky has some of these. We've been seeing some runs on these kind of things as well. Here we have the 30 ounce bags of the Lotus Foods Organic Rice Ramen here. These are $8.79. Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised to see these. These are real popular. The last time we were here, somebody was asking if we saw the multi-pack of the Annie's Organic uh, different macaroni and cheese here. They finally got them back in. We've been here a couple times where they haven't had these. These are really popular. $17.49 for 12 six ounce boxes. These used to be $15.98. Now it's been it's been months since I've seen them, but now seventeen forty nine. So something else that's gone up in price. So they don't have many different varieties here, but we're always getting comments on like these little dole fruit cups. You know, you gotta have your fruit, one way or another. I know a lot of different fruits uh, have been uh, not as good this year due to weather conditions or other things, but they do have the cherry mixed fruit here. These are nine dollars and forty. $9.49, but you get 16 of them. They have their Kirkland sliced peaches here uh, in the jar. This is a four pack, four 24 ounce jars for $12.49. Now we've seen peaches, which in my opinion have really been tasteless this year. Um, and I'm sure these, I don't know, these are probably pretty good. I've never tried these ones, but we've gotten good comments on them. We also got good comments on the ones at Sam's Club. $12.49 here for four jars. That's a pretty good deal considering fresh pizzas, fresh peaches are $2.99 a pound right now, pretty much everywhere. One of my favorites here are these organic dried blueberries. Guys, these are amazing. You know I love my blueberries. Uh, these are $10.89. These used to be $9.99. Or $9 $10.89 now. It is a 20 ounce bag. Uh, they rarely ever have them. Actually, yeah, I'm going to buy one of these. Somebody was asking about the Bonza Rotini here that's made from chickpeas. Uh, it's $9.49 here at Costco. It is a 40 ounce box, five bags. Five bags of them for $9.49, that's not bad. And checking again here, yes, only three pallets. Well, I guess technically four. They have two of this California one here. 
uh, but just one here. Usually there's a ton here, guys. Usually back here and against the wall, they'll have tons and tons of bags of rice. We're going to continue uh, to update everyone on the rice situation as we visit the stores. Make sure you are subscribed down below uh, so that you get all updates. Click that bell notification. Uh, we pretty much have a video come out every morning Eastern time at 8.30 a.m. So if for some reason you are not notified, just know at 8.30 in the morning Eastern time, we'll have something out here for you. So if you've never shopped at Costco before, one thing I will say is pretty much everything that we've ever had of the Kirkland brand has been fantastic. No problems at all. Uh, let's see, they got their 12 six ounce cans of organic tomato paste here, $8.49. Uh, it's not too bad. And then they have the 12 15 ounce cans of the organic tomato sauce, $10.99. That's a good deal. A lot of these prices that we will see today are very comparable to Sam's Club. I will try to point out which ones are cheaper if I can. Um, Rotel, about the same price. Still less than a dollar a can here at Costco. Eight cans for $6.99. And then they have the uh, Kirkland San Marzano tomatoes, three. 28 ounce cans we get comments on these a lot uh, and they must be popular because they never have them here $13.49 for three 28 ounce cans they still have their Del Monte canned uh, canned corn here $10.99 making them less than a dollar a can one of the cheapest places to buy them here 12 15.25 ounce cans for $10.99 these are right around a dollar fifty uh, anywhere from $1.35 to $1.50 a can, pretty much anywhere you go. $1.50 a can at Kroger. Green beans, same thing. $10.99 for 12, 14 and a half ounce cans. So they're a little smaller than the corn, but uh, still a great deal. Still less than a dollar a can. Also wanted to point out, i kind of been walking around looking at the upper rafters. No rice in the upper rafters. So I saw this uh, Kirkland evaporated milk here. thought this was a pretty good deal. 12, 12 ounce cans for $12.99 makes it just a little over a dollar a can. Not too bad. And then they have the six pound bag of sugar in the raw here for $8.69. That's a pretty good deal. We get comments on this all the time. We have been hearing that here in the near future, sugar may be in short supply. Uh, we have noticed that the cost has been going up immensely in our regular grocery stores. I did want to point out they have the organic cane sugar 10 pound bag, $9.49. That is not a bad deal. And then they have the Pioneer like uh, confectioner sugar here, powdered sugar, $4.79 for a seven pound bag. So get it while it's hot. They also have the light brown sugar, but I am noticing they are out of the dark brown sugar. So they have the seven pound bag, $4.69 in the light brown. We have been noticing a shortage of dark brown sugar lately wanted to point out also they have the 10 pound bag of pioneer sugar still for 5.99 for 10 pounds that's a pretty good deal and for 25 pounds depending whether you use a lot of sugar or not 13.99 uh not a bad deal not a bad deal at all really good to see they're still getting in a bunch of flour here they got the king arthur bread flour 10 pound bag 7.99 They've got this organic, unbleached, all-purpose flour, two 10-pound bags for $17.99. That is organic bread flour. Then they have the all-purpose King Arthur flour, $9.49 for a 12-pound bag. We are expecting flour to go up again. Now, just with all the different wheat and grain shortages and stuff like that, we're expecting that flour is maybe not skyrocket, but it's definitely going to go up in price. So when you find a good deal on it, if you're at the store and you find a good sale, might want to buy up one or two. And if you really want to stock up, they have the Arden Mills here, all-purpose flour, 25-pound bag for $9.79. That's an amazing deal. Oh, well, looks like they've got the Festival Mushrooms coming back in here. Festival brand mushrooms. These are $13.99 for 12 four-ounce cans. We've been seeing canned mushrooms go through the roof in price. This makes it a little over a dollar a can. We've seen them anywhere from $1.50 to $1.70, sometimes $2 a can. So... And uh, these are organic, so even better deal. Now, one of our favorite things to do every time we come to Costco is check out some of the coffee prices. Really, our favorite thing to do at any store. $15.89 for the 14-ounce thing of Nescafe Taster's Choice. That is anywhere from $10 to $11 for 7 ounces, so getting a little bit of a savings there. They have the Kirkland Signature 100% Colombian Supremo $16.99. And this is a three pound bag. This used to be $15.99. 
Uh, it looks like the house blend still is two and a half pound bag, $15.99 for the Kirkland house blend. We've gotten some good comments on the Cameron's coffee here. This one here is the Vanazel, Vanazel, wow, Vanilla Hazelnut, 2.36 pound bag, uh, $10.99 for this. But here they have their organic Velvet Moons Espresso right here. We've gotten good comments on this one. $10.99. $10.99 for a two pound bag. It's a pretty good deal. Probably the most commented Kirkland product on our channel is the French Roast Whole Bean Coffee. We have a lot of people on the channel that like this stuff. Uh, $11.79 for a two and a half pound bag. This used to be $10.98, but everything's going up. And it looks like they got some more of this Mount Comfort here. Organic Peru coffee, $14.99 for this one, two and a half pound bag. Here's another good one, the Kirkland Organic Whole Bean Blend. This is $16.99 as well. This is the whole bean, just a two pound bag. But we've gotten a lot of good comments on this one too. Really the best deal on Dunkin' Coffee you will find is here at Costco and Sam's Club. They're both the same price, $21.89. Uh, used to be $23.72 at Sam's Club and it used to be right around $24 here at Costco, but the prices have since dropped. 45 ounces of Dunkin' Coffee for $21.89. $11.89 here, which is 10 cents cheaper than at Sam's Club. 43 and a half ounces. Used to be 51 ounces for the same price, but $11.89 here at Costco. And then they have their uh, Kirkland Signature decaf over here. This is $14.99 for a three pound can, but we got some decaf drinkers on the channel here that swear by this one. And for all of our Tim Horton lovers out there, it's a three pound can for $18.79. This used to be $16.99, but I'll tell you what, it must be pretty popular here at Costco because they rarely have it. Interesting packaging here for Maxwell House. Uh, recyclable packaging, 90% less pl plastic as compared to Maxwell House, 48 ounce uh, container here. This is only 44 ounces though, 44 ounces for $9.99. So all of our new viewers have been asking, because we've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately, which one do you like better, Costco or Sam's Club? Mm, I don't know, either one. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? everybody's gonna get on here and say, no, Jess, you love Costco. I do. <laughs> so I what like do you- I like Sam's too. I know, well, what do you love most about here? Just the, the atmosphere? I mean, I think it's way bigger than Sam's and they have way more stuff yeah, than Sam's does. They do. Does. And people were asking us too, which brand do we like better, Kirkland brand or Members Mark? I feel like they're kind of the both good, but I feel like Kirkland, we've never had an issue. Yeah, I don't really recall all the things we bought for either one, but well, I we've like we've Costco. definitely bought more stuff I from like Sam's Costco Club. Hamburger better than I like yeah. Sam's hamburger. So. Yeah, I do too. I feel like their prepared meals, like stuff like the chicken Alfredo we get and stuff. I feel like that stuff's way better here. I don't even think Sam's does that. Uh, they've been bringing it back a little bit, but not not to that level. Mm. I don't know. Let's go check that stuff out. Okay, so we did happen to come across a Kirkland product here. Oh, no, that ain't even Kirkland. Oh, no. That's Trident. This beer battered cod, what was the problem with it? It's too beery. <laughs> too beery? Well, usually when they have beer battered stuff, the beer flavor, the flavor like boils off and you don't really notice it yeah but those it literally tastes like you're eating beer <laughs> i didn't like it too much. i didn't like them either so so yeah. but that is not kirkland that is trident but if uh, you like beer then you'll probably like those what'd you say so if you like beer then you'll probably like this yeah yeah i mean you know they just i don't know i've had much better beer battered cod well like i said you're not supposed to taste the flavor of the beer and you can't and it literally right. tastes like they took that fish and dumped it in the beer <laughs> right <laughs> So, and this is another thing we tried here. I wasn't a big fan of it. The panko shrimp here. It's okay, it's really crunchy. Yeah. So if you don't like super Overly stuff. Overly breaded. Yeah, but I think that's the point. That's why they're pan panko crusted yeah. or whatever they are. Um, they're okay. They're good, they just, you can't overcook them because they will get so hard because they're so crispy on the outside. Right. But I mean, the shrimp inside's good, it's just, you know. That's probably something that you should try in like an air fryer or something. Yes, and luckily we got our air fryer out. I have been interested to try the wild caught Alaskan Pacific cod here by Kirkland. 
Uh, it is $19.99 though for two pounds frozen. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried this one, if it's any good. I would like to try this Alaskan halibut too, but it's two pounds for $48.99. That's very pricey uh, for frozen anything. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if you tried either one of these and uh, if you like them. So a little bit of a sale going on on the Rayos. These are the 28 ounce jars. 28 ounce jars. These are the big ones here. Uh, $8.99 for both of these, making them $4.50 a jar. Regular price, $11.89. Just to give you an idea, these are $8.99 for a 24 ounce jar at Kroger. So you're basically paying, you're getting uh, four more ounces in one plus an extra one for the price that you're going to pay for 24 ounces at Kroger. That's an amazing deal. I know a lot of people out here like Rayo, so just wanted to point that out. So some people were saying that the Kirkland bath tissue went up. It is still $19.99 here at ours, thank goodness. Uh, they do have the Charmin. Some people are asking about this. 30, 205 sheet rolls here. $26.49 for these. I believe these went up a while ago. They were $25.99, so I think they went up 50 cents here. And then we have the Kirkland paper towels down here. $19.79. So, yeah, still same price on these, at least at ours in Florence, Kentucky here. So I'm not going to go over all of these. I just don't have time to. But we were getting comments. Uh, it's been a little while on different diaper prices. Well, from what we find in regular grocery stores and from what we see at Costco here, Costco is seriously the place to come for diapers. Way better than Sam's Club, too. Sam's Club has very limited supply, but I'll tell you what, they've got a ton here. This is a 192-count diaper, size 3. $52.49. That's kind of the magic number here, I guess. But uh, yeah, they got all kinds. Even the uh, the Kirkland here. This is 222 diapers. Now, I don't know about the brand. Don't know. You know, if any parents out there, let us know. If you buy the Kirkland brand, is it strong? Does it work? $44.99 for 222 of them. That's a pretty good deal. Here is the chicken Alfredo that we get. And yeah, you see it at first and it's like, $18.32. Guys, this is four pounds right here. This lasts us for a week. We'll have it for dinner and then we'll have it for the next like couple lunches, a few lunches each. I gotta say, I haven't seen these here, but these stuffed bell peppers look pretty amazing too. I'll tell you what, if you're having a little party or a little get together and you want to be the star, these chicken street tacos are amazing. 12 count uh, per pound, $5.49 per pound. But this right here, uh, you get 12 of the little tacos. It's enough to fill probably more than that. Uh, this is 2.71 pounds, 5.49 a pound, but it's a lot of food in here. Wanted to check out some of the meat prices. Look at this steak, guys. Now this is true USDA choice steak right here. Now it did go up in price, same as Sam's Club. Sam's Club was 12.98, went up to 13.48 per pound, and Costco followed suit. They are 13.49 a pound. One thing I will say is that Costco has them and Sam's Club is very low or out every time I go. So I'm a little surprised to see the New York strip steaks here at $12.99 because they were $10.99 a pound when Sam's Club was $12.99 a pound. So I don't know if they just had to raise it because of the prices they were paying for it, but Sam's Club is the same price, $12.98 per pound, uh, $12.99 per pound here. So a penny more, but again, more importantly, they have them in, and I will say this is usually pretty well stacked. They are a little low. However, as you notice here, this is a well stacked area and, and they do all the work back here, guys. I like being able to see them uh, do all the cuts and work in the back, same as Sam's Club. I just like, it's a little more open here where you can see everything. But yeah, they are just loaded down on meat here at Costco. Uh, and it's something to think about because we are expecting, in, expecting some shortages on meat and some very high price increases on top of what it's already gone up to already so again when you find a deal you find a sale on meat if you have a little extra freezer space good to stock up on a couple but i'll tell you what the quality here at costco is pretty amazing uh you're gonna pay right about the same price as what you pay at kroger but you're getting better quality meat I see that their pork loin back ribs went up the same as Sam's Club also. 
These were $2.99 a pound. They were $2.98 a pound at Sam's Club. They are both now $3.49 a pound. Um, never tried the Kirkland, but I will say the Members Mark Sam's Club version is very good. They look exactly the same. Probably came from the same from the same butcher for all I know. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's not that you, it's harder to find sales around these places, but you know that the quality is going to always be there. Here is the hamburger that Jessica was talking about. I have to agree with her. I feel like, you know, it's right around the same price, $3.99 a pound. Uh, it is, let's see, 88% lean. But yeah, I do believe that Kirkland hamburger is a little better than Members Mark. I like Members Mark too, but it just, I don't know. It, they always come out better, a little more, always has a little more flavor. I don't know why. So I'm telling you right now, if you like cheesecake, uh, so this is $16.99, but I gotta say, this is probably the best cheesecake I've ever had in my life. Um, they are fantastic. If you're having a birthday party or something, just forget the birthday cake, get this. It is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, it's definitely my favorite. You like the cheesecake, don't you? Do you think it's better than Cheesecake Factory? Uh, I mean. I feel like the cheesecake is, it's just Cheesecake Factory usually has like, good flavors so and stuff. There's so much like. stuff going on with the Cheesecake Factory. Right. Like, because they always put tons of different ingredients in other than just plain cheesecake. Right. But I like this one. It's good. I, I love it too. Now, you know, we don't get it all the time, but for a special occasion or something, you don't need too much of an excuse, but really for as much as you get, the price really isn't bad and it's fantastic. Check this guy out. I guess Costco is getting ready for Halloween. 150 bucks, you can get a uh, punk rock guitar player from the depths. Well, that was our trip to Costco today. I love Costco. Jessica loves Costco. Um, we love them both. We love Sam's and Costco, but just wanted to go to this one today in Florence, Kentucky to check on the rice situation. It's definitely a lot lower than it has been. Not too surprised at all. We will be, I hope to go visit a couple stores up near Mason. I'd like to go to the Sam's Club up there. It's not the one we usually go to, but they also carry a lot of rice. Plus, there are stories online up around Mason, Ohio, where uh, there's been a lot of panic buying on rice. There's a lot of Asian restaurants up around Mason. If you're unfamiliar with Mason, Ohio, it's right where Kings Island uh, amusement park is so it's pretty close to that so we might do a video there here in a couple days to see what the situation is like up there if you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get all updates we will continue to update on all this stuff as we go along we will be checking out kroger walmart aldi meyer all kinds of different stores to check prices to help save you money any way we can guys thank you so much for watching the video today with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is up.